Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to download as well as set up Python so that you could start coding in the Python programming language. Keep in mind that I'll be using Windows for this tutorial, but you should be able to follow with another operating system. Please also remember to subscribe. The first thing we'll need is Visual Studio Code, which is a code editor. And what that means is we'll be using this program to write all our Python code in. So right here on this website, which I'll link in the description, we need to click the download for Windows or click the arrow and choose the operating system that you're using. After a while, we'll be taken to this getting started page where we just have to wait a short while and our Visual Studio Code setup exe should start downloading. After that, we'll also need Python itself and I'll also link this in the description. On this website, we need to hover over downloads and then to the right, we'll see the latest version. So just click this Python download button and it should start downloading. After all that's done, I'll be dragging both setup exes to my desktop and I'll then double click the Python one. Make sure to click add Python to path and then click install now. After it's done install, we can click this close button and then double click the Visual Studio Code setup. Click the accept agreement button and then the next button. You can then just click next again and then install. After it's done installing, I'll uncheck the startup box because I want to show you how to open it in Windows Search. You can then click finish. On the search button, we need to click it and type in Visual Studio Code. We then need to click Visual Studio Code and it should open. The first time you open Visual Studio Code, it should look something like this. To get started, we need to click open folder and then you can either select or create a folder by right click going to new and then clicking folder. Give the folder a name, press enter and click open folder. Here you just need to click yes. I trust the authors. Our folder is now open and we can close this getting started tab. Here on the left we can hover over the folder we just created and click this button that says new file. It will then give us the chance to name this file. So name it whatever you want but make sure to add .py at the end otherwise your computer won't recognize this as a python file. Adding .py is very important. You can then press enter. There are just a few small things we need to do before you can start coding and one of them is to download the Visual Studio Code Python extension. So here on the extensions button click it and then search Python. Make sure to click the one that's available by Microsoft. For the sake of the tutorial I've only disabled mine but you should see an install button here. So make sure to click it. In my case I'll just click enable. You then need to add one last extension called IntelliCode. So let's search for it and this one here Visual Studio IntelliCode. Make sure it's available through Microsoft again and then click install. Once it's been installed you can click this extension button again to close this panel and then click the cross at the top here to close the extensions page. Back in our Python file we should now see Python here at the bottom but if you're getting a yellow message click the yellow message and then here at the top we need to select Python 3.10.1. After that you'll also notice this run button at the top which will run our code whenever we want to test it. So to make sure everything works we can type print which is a Python function which will display output in the console. Inside of this print function you can write any text but make sure to put the text in quotations otherwise you'll get an error. We can then click the run button and inside of the terminal we can see the text we wrote is now displayed in the terminal. If we want to close and kill the terminal we can click this trash icon here to the right. And that should be it. Let me know if you ran into any problems. You can also join my discord and ask there. All links will be in the description and please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next video.